What is going on fellow farmers? Welcome back to another map tour with your boy CJ Farms right here on FS22. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click also to know exactly when I post new content and when I go live. And if you want to get your hands on some amazing and awesome giant software gear and help support the CJ Farms YouTube channel in the process, be sure to check out the links below in the description with the blue diamonds beside it. That being said, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and enjoy the show. Fellow farmers, so today we're going to be having a look at Greenland's map made by Peter716. Big shout out to Peter716 for Greenland's, who is uh, who is also converting this map from FS19 over to FS22. This used to be on FS19. Uh, uh, the description says, I have converted this map over from FS19 and made a few improvements. This is a fictional map inspired by real farms set in the UK. The map has a total of 100 fields, wow, ranging in different shapes and sizes. There is a village called Greenlands. Also included in the map is a biogas plant, grain mill, sawmill, storage yards with sheds, and a long river. Uh, and several forestry areas and a large area at the bottom of the map which you can do anything you wish to with. The map has contracts on all 100 fields. Animal husbandry is built into placeables and can be sold along with the sheds at the main yard. The gates can all be sold off as a whole by clicking on any gate and the hedges as a whole by clicking on the real on the red bollards up, 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 opposite the main farmhouse. There are three main farms in the map which are Greenland's farm with cows, pigs, sheep and chickens, grain storage and three silage pits along with uh, storage sheds. Greenland's farm cow sheep and two silage pits. I'm sorry greenside farm cows sheep and two silage pits uh, Roadside farm with pigs and grain storage. There's also a woodview farm with a storage yard and two sheds Hoping you will enjoy looking around and playing on this map Feel free to offer any suggestions as these will be used for improvements a special thanks to my fiance and testing uh, my fiance and testing for helping with some small stuff and with testing the map and a very special thanks to flusty 94 for allowing me to use the stone crushing line production thank you made by peter 716 thank you peter 716 for your time and creativity in the farm and simulator community we surely do appreciate it guys let's go ahead and pop up here and have a look at this map guys this map is absolutely gorgeous uh there is our main farm right over there guys look at how beautiful this map is big shout out to peter 716 man this map is gorgeous talking about breathtaking look at that over there guys look at how huge this map is it's just humongous i mean look at all this farming land out here guys this is farmland usa man look at this place man well farmland uk i'll say farmland uk because that's where it originates from uh let's go ahead and drop back down right here now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look around the main part of the farm here first going to be the main part of the farm where the cow sheds and stuff are and we'll also be having a look at the equipment uh we have a petrol tank right over here over here is going to be probably your sheep i'm sorry your chickens where your chickens are right here your chicken pasture very nice there's our home right over there i believe with our uh pickup truck right there um is there a sleeve trigger here can you go in no you cannot go in uh, but there is a little part of the farm right there. Let's jump back up here real quick. And let's go over to here. Let's speed up just a little bit. There is your silo bunker right there, guys. There is one of your silo bunkers right here. Uh, to put your grass in for your silage. Uh, and it's got the auto feed uh, cow barn. Look at this, guys. The auto feed with the robot. That's pretty amazing. That's awesome that he included this. I am so glad to see somebody put some new fresh stuff in the maps i love it i love it already man this is a big game changer right here for the new maps big shout out to peter 716 for this man 
Uh, look at these. St look at this storage area, guys. All lit up in lights. Um, there's one of our tractors right here. Looks like a, a windrower and a um, a leveler here. I believe it's a leveler or a, um, a uh, yeah, I believe it's what that is, a leveler. Uh, here's one of a, our tractors right here. Um, here's our, oh, nice. He put a different harvester on this map with a header trailer that is also different along with the header. I like it, man. He put the John Deere T560i on this map. Very nice. And he put the class tractor on the claws tractor. Sorry about that. The claws tractor. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Some new stuff uh, for a map here. Finally, we got some new stuff over here, ladies and gentlemen. Is going to be some of your looks like uh, your plow and your weight. Um, this is also going to be your uh, cultivator or subsoil, I believe, is what this is right here. Um, and here is a bell fork. So pretty cool stuff, man. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm assuming there's a front loader in there somewhere. These doors do open at some point somewhere. Uh, maybe right here. Yep, the cow pasture opens right there on the side. And you can also open these doors manually as well on each side. Um, I do have a tutorial on this uh, auto feed um, cow shed. If you guys need to see that, I will link it here in the video for you. Um, right here is where you're going to repair your vehicles, customize them, paint them, all that good stuff. So uh, pretty cool. We got a bell fork around here somewhere a pallet fork okay there it is right there there's the pallet fork so where's the front loader attachment for the vehicle this does not have a front loader on it um but anyway guys nonetheless this is the main part of the farm some of it anyway over here is going to be your pig pasture right here um i'm assuming this is going to be your uh sheep pad oh, this is your part of your pig sty uh this is where your slurry comes out so there's looks like two big pig styes here um because this is definitely okay this is your sheep my mistake this is the sheep over here this is the sheep area this is the pig sty uh this is where your slurry comes out um right here is another silo bunker for your silage um does this door open it does in fact open and we can slip right in there like this um this is a very nice farm so far guys i'm really really like let's see if any windows open or anything by clicking this, I don't think it does. Can we open this? Cannot open that. Uh, but it's very nice. Um, this door opens as well to go into the sheep pasture there, guys. You can see. Let me hop back out. Close that. Open this back up. Hop back out. And close that door. Uh, so very nice so far, guys. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. It's very nice. Over here is another main part of the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hop over here. This is... Uh, a lot of our equipment here's another silo bunker um very nice man just just a nice um this is our where you buy your pigs at right here very nice equipment we got a forage wagon here we got a manure spreader a slurry spreader some new equipment finally on a, on a farm i like it uh we got some grass cutting equipment uh along with the tether here um looks like a straw blower right here so that's that is definitely new right there i've not seen that before and we have our fertilizer spreader right here man very nice job peter 716 i i commend you for putting new stuff on a map and overall just making this map look amazingly just gorgeous man it just looks amazing i can't believe how beautiful this map is uh you know we might move to this one instead guys i know i say that on every map but this map is absolutely breathtaking let's go into the map here well let's go and look at our equipment real quick before we do that uh let's look at our equipment that we own look at all the equipment we own here guys quite a bit so small tractors we own a fendant 515c and a massey ferguson 3709 medium tractors we own a um landini 7230 robo 6 and a john deere 7810 for harvesters, we own the John Deere T560. For cars, we own the 1986 pickup truck. For trailers, we own the Claws Carrot 140TD. And the header you guys seen a while ago, the John Deere 625X. We also have a stone picker. Very nice. The Degelman Signature 7200. Very nice. We also own the the, the Vernalin Plow, uh, Vernalin Plow uh, e uh, Echomat there. Disc Carols, we own the Horse Joker 4CT. We also own this Amazon ZATS 3200 fertilizer spreader. This is the manure spreader that we own, the Manure Director 14. The slurry spreader is going to be the FarmTech uh, Supersys 800. 
The mowers are going to be coon, both coons. One is the GMD 8730FF. The other is the GMD 3123F. Um, Tedders, we own the Coon GF8712. I do love, I do love Coon products, so I'm glad he put some Coon products in here. Wind drawers, we own uh, the Samaz Z2840H. Forge wagons, we own the Pottinger Feral 4010D, and we also own a Beller. Very nice. We own a Beller VB3190. This is our Anderson. Uh, comes with the Anderson DLC pack here, guys. The Pro Shop Pro Chop 150 uh, straw blower. That's where you, this is the machine you put your straw in, your straw bells, and it blows it out to your cattle or your horses, whichever one you decide to have. You'll have to put a horse in. I think the horses are not here yet to put horses in. Uh, but this will be for mainly for your um, your cows. So, And that is a leveler right there, guys. MS3000 leveler right there. Here's your front loader piece, guys. A quick, quick uh, Q7M. Front loader tool is going to be, uh, we have a pallet fork, a, a front shovel bucket, and a bell spike right here. Uh, all made by Albert. And down here, our header trailer is going to be the Nardi N40BX. And then weights, we have we have different weights. Finally, it's not the pack 750s. We have the Agco 1500 and the Agco 650. Very nice. Uh, big shout out again to Peter716 for this map. All right, guys, let's go into the map and let's visit a few places here. Let's go up here. To the Pharma 400 OB uh, 1000, which is going to be our farm silo, I believe. <clears throat> this is going to be one of our farm silos. I'm blown away by this map, how beautiful it is. And just all the space that we have. Here is another pigsty right here, guys. Um, I mean, just look at this place, guys. Look at I mean, there's so much opportunity in this map. There's just so much here. Um, and I'm sure that this gate probably opens. There we go. Let's close that back real quick. There's your pigsty right there, guys. That's what it looks like. Very nice. Very, very nice. More storage space over here for your equipment. Um, these garage doors do open. I know that for a fact. Uh, so there's more storage for your garage. There's guys, your garage for your, uh, more equipment, I mean. Pretty nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Some more storage there. And then on over to here, guys, we have another petrol tank um, that I believe might already be full. Oh, no, you do have to fill it up right here. Uh, so you go here. You can get 10,000 liters for $13,000. So if we go like that right there, we've just filled the tank up with Petro. Um, so it is now full and ready to go. Um, right here, uh, we can probably open this gate. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That is so nice. That is so nice. So I like, I and I will say this. I'm not a big fan of farms being spread out, like spread out amongst one another. But being the fact that each one of these farms are so incredibly beautiful, um, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of these farms that are currently spread out. This is our farm silo here, guys. Your intake um, as well as your outtake right there. Um, wow, I'm just so impressed by this farm. I'm really impressed. Uh, big shout out again to Peter716. I can't say that enough, man. This farm is absolutely beautiful. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, over here, guys, I mean, just look at the fields we have. Look at the fields we have to work with. All right, guys, let's go back into the map and let's go over to um, here. We're going to visit this spot. It's going to be our grain mill right here. This is going to be our grain mill where you bring your products to to sell right there. It is a production voucher. Guys, keep that in mind that you do have to own it. Okay, You do have to own it. Um, over here is going to be another looks to be like a. OK, are these meridian silos? These, I think, are meridian silos. I think they are. I think these are meridian silos right here. If I'm not mistaken. I think that's what these are. Pretty sure these are meridian silos. Anyway, it is beautiful nonetheless. Um, I mean, just a, just a gorgeous map, guys. A very gorgeous map. There's a little town right here. Oh, I love when people put churches on the map. I love it. Here's your gas station right here, guys. To fill up all of your uh, machines. Um, right here we have another cell point. Let's let's check out and see what cell point this is right here. This is going to be the fast food restaurant and the supermarket as well. Uh, right next to each other right here. This is your uh, fast food restaurant. And your supermarket is... I'm assuming this is the supermarket right here. I'm assuming this is the supermarket. Maybe it's this one right here. Maybe it's this one. Yep, this is the supermarket right here, guys. 
So supermarket here, fast food restaurant right here. I, I love when they put churches on the map. I think that's a pretty beautiful touch. Um, you don't see that much anymore, but man, this, this church is beautiful. I love the way it looks on the map. Uh, look at this subdivision down there, guys. Check this out. Look at this subdivision, man. Look at this. Apartment buildings. I mean, I've never seen a map like this, and this one is by far the most beautiful map I think I've ever seen yet for FS22. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, over here, guys, it looks like we're going to have another point, and we're going to check out and see what this is right here. Um, so whereabouts are we at on the map? Where are we at? Where did we run off to? Where did we... Where did we run off to? Where is our guy? Where is our point? Okay, so we're right here. So that is going to be our store, guys. T T Taylor's Agricultural Engineer. So this is your store. This is going to be your store right here. Uh, this tells you, click on that question mark, tells you all about farming. Uh, this right here is going to be your actual store. Um, this over here, if I can get out of this spot. This over here is where you're going to repair your vehicles. Um, customize them, color them, all that good stuff, repair them. Uh, and it looks like we have more space for storage, but this is more of a garage, really, uh, for role play purposes. But still, but still, it looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. I like the little old, I like the old barn he's got over here. That's a nice little touch right there, the old barn. That's a nice touch. Got a big field right here. Um, oh, and we didn't see what we own by default, guys. Let's go back to the map. What do we own by default? Let's go back to the main map. Uh, by default, guys, we own... Wow, we own more than two fields. I like this. I like it. Uh, we own 42, 43, 56, 58, 60, 61, and 76. That's what we own by default as far as I can see. Um, we also own this piece of land over here. And I think that's pretty much it. But there is some small pieces of land you can purchase if need be. I don't know why you need any more land than what you have right here. Unless you just want to invest in that type of thing. Once you uh, further advance in your farming and earn money. But this is what we own right here, guys. By default, the main part of the farm. Um, as well as some uh, the biogas plant. We own the biogas plant. So that's pretty. this is the biogas plant right here. So that is pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Let's head over here to this Greenland's Auction Center. So we got an auction center over here, which is uh, obviously going to be your animal dealer. Right here, this is going to be your animal dealer. Uh, this is where you can buy your animal sheds and all that. Uh, so very nice. Uh, very well put together. Um, this is going to be a sell point for your dairy, I believe, right here. I think that's what this is for. Your milk, your eggs, stuff like that. I believe that's what this is. Yep, center milk. Um, this one right here is going to be our bells. And the next one's going to be wool. So we can sell bells, dairy, and wool here. So I'm assuming that our bells are sold here and your wool is sold here. Very nice. Very nice. Now, um, you do have to buy it. You do have to own it, guys. So keep that in mind. A lot of these sell points you have to own, okay? Some of these production places, I mean. Um this right here is also a sell point. Look, I'm sorry. No, this is a water tower where you get your water from. Uh, this is going to be a water source right here. I believe. Let me zoom into the map. Yep, this is going to be your water source. Um, now, let's head on over to... Um, we visited this and that. Let's head over to the carpentry spot. Uh, this is going to be your carpentry place right here. Um, again, you do have to... Do you have to own this? I don't believe you do oh what's this yeah you do have to own this guys you have to own this so make sure you buy that uh before making any further productions there um very nice this is where you uh drop off your stuff right here uh the exclamation point is where you sell it um but i mean it's just i'm blown away by this map i just want to just go around the whole thing so bad like just spin around it uh over here guys we got another sheep barn so let's have a look at this. This is another sheep barn right here. And I believe there's another pigsty right here as well. Here's your pigsty along with your sheep barn. Another silo bunker right here. Um, I mean, just very nice, guys. And as you can see, there's plenty of grass to cut for your sheep uh, to feed them and for your cows as well to make silage. So plenty of that to go around. 
Uh, let's go ahead over here to the BGA grain. Now, this is the spot that we own, guys. We own this area right here. We own this piece of land, okay? But that doesn't mean we own the BGA. So keep that in mind. You have to walk up here. Um, well, we do own the BGA. So this is your production company right here. This is your very own, your very own and owned production company right here, guys. Uh, this is going to be your outtake. This is going to be your intake. Um, you can put your silage and manure here. Uh, I mean, it, the sky is the limit on this map, guys. This map, and here's more silo bunkers. I mean, you can't get much better than this right here, guys. I'm going to have a hard time deciding where I want my thumbnail shot to be because I really want a picture of that subdivision that we just went through over there. That is a pretty amazing touch. Um, all right, let's go back up to the map here, guys. And now we're going to hop over to the wood chip factory here. This is going to be your sawmill. So you're going to sell your trees here, your wood chips, good, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, right here it says Greenside Sawmill. So very nice touch right there with the sign. I like that. Um, it's very nice, guys. Very, very nice. Uh, big shout out again to Peter716 for this map, man. This, this, I mean, look at those fields back there, guys. Look at these fields. I mean, can we go all the way back here? Can we? Oh, my gosh, we can. Look at this. Look at this, guys. This is absolutely amazing. And it's got a little town. I mean, I love that he put a town all the way through it. I mean, this map is just beautiful. It's just, there's no other words for it. It's it's breathtaking. It's very breathtaking. This is an amazing map. There is your river, guys, that he was talking about. That runs through the center of the map. He's to the big, long river. That's exactly what he was talking about. The map does end here. Um, but it runs through. The river runs through it right there, guys. The river runs through it. I remember that uh, movie, that old movie, where the river runs through it. Oh, what do we have over here? There is a little trigger here of some sort. Okay, so you can get water from here, guys. Here is a water source. You can pull your water triggers into here, whatever you want, and get water from the bridge right here or, you know, from the lake, uh, so to speak. Um, let's go back into the map, and we're going to hop up to... Um, we already visited that, guys. I think that's everything. Let's head back to the main farm here. Um, but I think that's everything with this map, ladies and gentlemen. Um, guys and girls... Big shout out to Peter 716. I know I've said that like 50 times now, but uh, big shout out to you, man. Peter 716, thank you so much for this map, man. This is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and just breathtaking. I just can't believe how, I mean, guys, I think this is the biggest map we have yet on FS22, even even aside from the, the base game maps, right? This is the biggest map I've seen thus far on FS22. Um... One more time, guys. Big shout out to Peter716 for this map. Uh, that's going to do it for this map tour, guys and girls. Be sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click all so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live. Guys and girls, until next time, stay safe, stay awesome, and be humble. I will see you all in the next video.